this video, I joined a thousand dollar man tournament and played the best offense I've ever seen. This is a breakdown. All right, brothers, here we go. This is the wildest game of competitive man I've seen. I swear to God, by the end of this, your mind's gonna be depressed, blown, shocked. We're out, we're out. All right, we got tackle. It wasn't really, I tried to give a big lead up to that, but it wasn't really anything too crazy right there, all right? So, we're at a bunch tight end. We're playing our guy, Mole CP. It's actually, his name's Astro. He made final, I made final 16 in the last tournament. He made final 12, so he actually did better than me. You guys know the deal though. We're gonna be bunched to the left. We're gonna flip Ruski. We don't want him to be able to set up at all. And immediately we're just gonna start out with a nuke because what better way to start a tournament game than to try to go up top one time. We have B, his user's too slow. Vic, Vic, bang! Come on, it's actually having an everything bomb. Be able to bomb looting every coverage is the best part about bunch and the best part of what we have over at Civil Lot GG's. What, what, one of them, we have a lot of cool things. That's really nice, though. Easy up seven. Now we're on defense. Astro is on offense in the gun bunch offset. And this kid plays offense. A lot of you guys think I play offense kind of like a crackhead. This guy's on literally, literally shooting crack into his ass the way he plays, which is, I love it. I'm, I, <laughs> I haven't watched this back in a second, but I love it. We're in bunch shutdown, or he's in bunch. 55 on defense. Uh, we're setting a little four, or we actually set a two man right there to start the game. A little bit different than usual. Ends up fighting the laser right there. Tony spins, gets hit. Good lays by him, 29, one for one. I like that defense though, it's a, that's a tight throw. I don't think it's a consistent throw you'll be able to fit in. So I'm not really too worried about it, right? It is what it is. Uh, again, we're actually, yeah, we messed up the defense. So guys, if you ever mess up your defense, especially in the first half, and you can't, you're like you panic, you can't fix it, just call the timeout, boys. Just call the freaking TO. Don't, right there, I was in the wrong defense. I said, oh shoot, wrong D. I'm just gonna fix it, right? Just going to fix it, or gonna call timeout. Don't want to give him a free touch off this. He's part of the WD man crew, which is a new crew. Uh, has a few guys in it. Uh, you see him flipping left to right. You see, I don't flip with him. I don't want to flip with him. No desire. We're sending a five man. This is the most common thing you'll see me do on defense. Five man gets picked up. He's able to find the little dot. Robbie Anderson. This Jets theme team, Robbie Anderson's a 99 speed on him. I have a Raiders theme team still. I'll probably look to switch or reconsider after Thanksgiving comes around, boys. But Jets theme team really good right now. First of 10. Hits underneath, good tackles. And you guys know I always preach about getting those big tackles underneath. Second to six, if he wants to take that check down every single play he can. My flats are at 10 right now. As long as we tackle, I'm happy with giving him that four yards because I just think that's such a hard thing to consistently get. Second to six, boom, seam, pick, Mike Haynes. Bad read by him right here. I'm feeling myself. We're going to try to get a little frisky on him, and we end up almost fumbling. I'm feeling good, right? Boom. Up 7-0. We just got a pick. It was a bad read. And my, I've never played it before. So at this point in the game, just like you guys are thinking, I'm like, oh, he might be kind of ass cheeks. It might be an easy tournament win for Civil. Doesn't end up happening quite that way, but we'll see what happens, right? 7-0 or 7-0. I'm going to flip once. And I'm going to end up flipping right back, I believe. Um, again, I just like flipping a lot just to keep the defense off balance. Let's see if we do flip back. We don't. Okay. Uh, what, okay, yeah, we're running inside zone right here. Trying to give him that look with that motioned out wide receiver. And going to get loose for Cordell Patterson. Two plays, two 75-yard touchdowns. I'm feeling good, right? But, guys, don't remember, man, that if you get, the, the quarters are so short where if you get ball at half, you could, honestly, guys, if you get ball at half, you could be down 21 and make it a game still if you get ball at half. Because literally, if you're down 21 at half, get ball at half, quick score, down 14, you're able to get a stop, score, then you're down seven, and it's a you know seven point game is a ball game, right? So having ball at halftime in this video game is so important, and you'll see that throughout this game, right? Where it's 14-0, but he's really like I'm in a good spot, obviously, but he's not necessarily in a terrible spot as you assume. He doesn't actually flip his bunch right here, which to me almost shows that he's getting like a lot of times they start to like people start to forget to do like fundamental things when they're a little bit flustered, a little bit angry, and he takes that check down. Two-yard tackle, he's 4 5 47 and a pick. I'm feeling good on D, per usual, boys. He's got audible to this, all right? I like to attack this with cover four, but I don't have that in my audibles. I was being lazy, I didn't set it up. Able to hit that flat for getting an eight right there for him, right? I need to put it in my audibles, and he immediately hurries up. Now he's going up-tempo. He, he just finally got a good play going his way. He's going up-tempo. I don't have my defense set up, right? Again, right here, you'll see. Defense not set up. We're trying to get there, checks it down. Jared Cook makes up two people miss journals for no reason. Jared journals back. Journals again gets hit. And a big gain right there for him. And which kind of starts to open up his offense a lot. I'm almost ready to call a timeout. He actually audibles over to this formation, which this is bunch Y flex. I've never seen anyone really run this, but he, you'll see him run it throughout this and has 
a super lays right up the middle into the one yard line to give you to score pretty easy touchdown right it's kind of hard to get the stop right here we're gonna go for a gap shoot right here i assume this has to be inside zone or halfback base let's see it's a pass actually gets it back corner catches it touchdown great pass great drive by him a little frustrated with the rack i i, I hate letting up rack yards right you guys know this but is what it is i'm still in a great spot first to 10 not in a hash i really like passing from one of the hash marks and i think we have one run for 75 yards right so we're just gonna go right back and see how what does our second run look like okay to be audible inside zone right here you know a little, a little right to left cordero gonna get honestly i try to cut i thought he was gonna get a better scrape across i was gonna cut back inside of him bad stick by me but second and five so it wasn't the worst thing ever um i like to try to really get a little flag or whatever get, get nifty in there right get, get real in the crannies but sometimes you know uh, it doesn't work out that way. Second and five, we're going for another nuke right here. See the same motion as earlier, ran inside zone. Now we're going to run play action off of it. Marcus May, his user, is going to be trying to get back. Falls down. We have B. We have B. We have B. Da! Touchdown. Everything nukes. Make offense easy. We have four offensive plays, three touchdowns right now. But this video is not about me being the best offensive player. What I need to do a better job of here is to start taking control of the game defensively. His last drive, he felt... In his opinion, right, he easily moved up the field, right? Um, he, I think he started feeling his groove at this point, especially hindsight. Um, so I need to do a better job of that. My blitz doesn't come in. He lays with me. Plaxico Burris with a little seam wheel. Really good routes. If you ever have a formation with a seam wheel, uh, vertical is out of bunch. is a great example of that. Really good. Audible's to tight here. You see me audible to cover four. And, oh, actually, no, we're in cover two. Yeah, another blown coverage by me. That's not what I want. Able to hit an easy dot on the sideline. And it's just me making, at that point, that's just huge mental blunders by me. I need someone like this with a really explosive offense I've shown now to attack underneath. We're giving up way too many big plays. Too many big plays, whether it's missed tackling, coverage assignment failures, whatever it might be. Uh, first and goal, he has, what does he have on Josh Allen? I'm not sure. Uh, pro reads, okay. Going for the shoot. We end up blowing the run up. We don't get the shoot, but you guys, if you have good gap shoots, sometimes you will get picked up, but it'll open up holes for other people to come free. Right there, we push it to a second and goal from the three. Let's see what it calls here. Another inside zone. Able to get another gap shoot. Now we're at a third and third and goal from the three. This is like a big, like, first and goal from the three. You're like, okay, he'll probably get in. Third and goal, though. Now I'm like, okay, we can get a stop. That's what he's looking underneath. Has the wheel back corner. Doesn't get it. Robbie Anderson, no go. And this is a chance for me to win the game, honestly, right here. Right, fourth and goal from the three. Right here, we get a stop. We probably win. If I'm him right here, I'm surprised you're not seeing a little flip rooskies back and forth just to get the defense a little off balance, but it's fine. Uh, we're going to see what he ends up doing here. I don't remember. You see the man up onto that outside receiver. Ends up cutting it back in and just terrible user. Watch this from me right here, boys. Watch my user just... Uh, I, I, I was sleeping. I'm one of the biggest plays of the game. I was sleeping. 100% on me. You see my user stop right here, and then I react too late to that in route. It almost looked like I, I like... It looks like I lagged. I didn't, but it looks like my player like lagged and didn't react to anything, but that's not me. Look at my guy Bobby V with the host right there. Guys, I stream over on Twitch. You can check me out over on twitch.tv backslash Mr. Siv. It's in the description. We stream all the time. I'd love to see you guys there, right? First and 10 from the 12. Bad kick return. I tried taking it out. I didn't want to show that. Kind of want to be embarrassing, but we're just going to go, honestly, right back to another bomb. We have Bazooka. He has not stopped my bombs yet. Let's see what happens, right? We're two for two with our bombs. We're looking for Vic. His user's too far down again. We're gonna go up top. Vic! And Cam Chancellor picks us. And then he pitches it. And he's gonna get some really nice yardage after this. And we are gonna try it. We're doing everything we can to make this tackle. We end up making it right here. Guys, it's interesting. This, I've never seen this actually get played. And I don't know why it did. I don't know why this got played. Um. I'm not sure. I have no idea. I I don't know. I've thrown that probably 200 times. It's gotten picked off like that, maybe two or three. I'm not sure. But regardless, I mean, just like that, he's right back in the game. First and 10 for the 29 for him. He's going to be flipping his bunch into bunch Y flex. This is honestly, I call this play a money play, uh, for lack of a better word. But he's right back in this, right? He's down seven with ball, right? Easy. Plays go burst. Good quick on catch by him. And he's down to the 10 yard line. 12 for 14 now. He's averaging, what, 12-14 for 200 right now, so about 20, about 18 a pop. Uh, really, really good completion uh, averages, and you see his big play potential. Going to be looking. Josh Allen ends up eating the sack lunch of KBG. Great sack by our boys right there. Second of 14. If we can get a stop right here, though, we feel good. He gets ball at half, too, you got to remember. Ball at half, he's almost in. I don't want to say he's in the driver's seat, but he's in a great spot. Bad user again by me. 
Plastico Burra's touchdown. All right, so I'm like, okay, offense, we got to answer something. I feel fine on offense. That pick was a little odd, but we're just going to run actual offense for a second, which is fine, right? We have Y up top. We're going to throw Y, boot over. We're going to spin back, touch. We, we, we barely just kind of hicked the, uh, the outside, the, the sidelines. Out of bounds. It's fine, though. We have what? What's our completion percentage, or what is it? We probably have, like, five completions for, like, 300 yards, damn near. 151 yards. Um, another boot over. I'm just making stop my, just the basics of the offense, boys, right? Right here, we're going to push with Vic, get a yard or two. That's fine. Uh, I don't mind. I love thinking about my boot over as a, as a RPO, right? A run pass option with Michael Vic pushing the edge. And I don't mind scampering for about two right there. It's okay. Can't do that every down. But that just makes you respect my run game a little bit. Second and eight right here, boys. We're going to do that same motion outside. I'm trying to implement this into the offense a little bit more. And we're going to look for this deep corner route right here from Y. I want to figure out this route come a little bit better. It was decent defense. It was a little too far, so it wasn't a great place to put it. You're going to see us try to scramble out. We're going to have RB. We're going to throw RB. We have a laser. Now, this looks wild. We have roaming Deadeye, though, which means we can make every throw if we do it correctly. And look, this is getting into an open spot of the field right here. RB... This is an open spot of the field. We just had to make the throw. We can laser beam. Whoo! Be able to add that five for five for 215 now, boys. Be able to have some. Be able to do shit like that is what I think makes me, like, is what takes my offensive game to the next level. Just because it's so hard to defend when you're able to do stuff like that. Another rollout from Vickens. We're going to push, 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 push. Get a cool three. We actually fumbled. Ball went out of bounds, though, thankfully. Second goal for the four, boys. Looking for the little... I love the speed option out of pistol right here. Looking, looking. Don't get any yardage, though. <laughs> but I do like that play in the red zone a lot. I think when you're in this tight, you need to have some... Like a better word, you need to have some gimmick stuff, right? You do. You just need a little bit of gimmick -y things. You're going to see us go into single back wing flex or wing, uh, wing flex right here. Uh, and this is honestly... I have a play from this where you'll see it right here. This halfback's on a seam wheel. And anytime you have a formation with these seam wheels, they're lethal. Lethal in the red zone. We'll see this route combo here in a second once I pause. Let's see. Or once I show it. Uh, yeah, so we're going to motion B over. And this is our route combo. So he's going to be on an out route motioned over here. And we're really looking for Y or RB. And watch, check out this motion right here. We're going to have B lining up about right there. And you're going to see how the seam wheel is going to be able to get right into a pocket. We have RB as well, possibly. Seam wheel, laser beam, great pass lead inside, away from the outside defender. Touchdown. We're right back in control of this game. But... Astro's shown I can't really stop him on defense. I cannot stop the kid. First of 10, you see me in cover four drop now against this formation. I like that defense against us quite a bit. He ends up looking for the route bounce on that right side. So this is something I take into, uh, take into consideration with my head, right? I see this. So, watch. We send a three-man rush. Look, he's stepping up. Look at this route bounce right here. There's no one defending it. And he tries to throw it right here. You see him light up. He's throwing this. I say, okay, with my user, I recognize that. You'll see me defend that later in the game. And that's kind of the things where... Even when you have a positive play like that for me where I got a sack, he gained a yard, but I got a sack, I take note of that. Boom. Great little read by him into the seam wheel. My mid zone KO knocks it free. Third and nine. Let's get a stop right here, boys. We can take control of this game again. Now the defense is locking up. I feel good. I'm not sure what I'm thinking right here. Let's see what we actually go with on defense. Um, I'm trying to think back to what we really did. I'm guessing a cover two shell is my guess. Let's see. Um, let's see if I show my play art here. Let's see. Do I? Um, we're not going to show the player, are we? No, we don't. Okay. This is not a cover two shell. No. Ends up hitting that seam route to uh, was it Tony. Yeah. Laps in coverage, boys. Laps in coverage. Look at this. This verticals route, you guys need to learn how to attack some of these. A lot of people try to throw this crosser on the sideline, which is awesome. But look, we have pressure coming in. Like, the pocket's collapsing right now. It, he throws it over the middle right here. It's such an advanced read hitting it at the numbers. It's able to hit the little pocket of the field that... When you're able to attack the, these areas that are usually left unattacked, it makes me on defense have to just overly compensate for that type of thing. Little first and 10. Again, I need to get up to this post route, but I don't. Ends up getting a good click down with Robbie Anderson. And this is a lapse in judgment on my user, right? Look at the situation. One timeout, 42 seconds. I don't want to give up a touchdown. Field goal, I still lead. He gets ball at half. I know this too, right? But instead, I come down hard with my user on this at this mesh point and come down hard on the in route, leaving this post to be wide open. Now, the reason for doing this is check my adjustment right here. I have this guy in a hook curl, right? So I think he's going to defend this, this post. He comes down, leaves Anderson wide open. Great click on act by him. A super advanced little catching mechanic to be able to make sure he does not take a hit from a safety. 
He gets the spike off, 20 seconds, one time out. He's in a chance now where he's secured the field goal for himself and he can actually attack looking to get a touchdown. And boys, if you're watching right now in this part of the video, I ask you one thing, and that is to make sure you are subscribed to the channel. It's free. It helps me out as a creator ton. I have a goal of hitting 30 thousand subscribers by the end of 2022 which is in a month and a half i want to hit that goal bad i need your guys' help again it's free you can always unsubscribe if you don't like my content at some point in the future and it 100 it helps me out as a channel a ton thank you boys let's get back into it Take it 10 i i'm a, i'm expecting something deep right here right i mean anything underneath at this point i'm kind of conceding the field goal i think i said five right here is my guess I'd like to be able to sack him out of field goal range, but mainly, yeah, we send the five man right here, you see. We're actually gonna get this pressure off the edge with Teddy Hendricks, but, I mean, he, he's a pretty smart player. I forgot that happened. I'll be honest, I forgot that happened. Okay, okay, I forgot, I forgot that he did that. Yeah, this was just, this, yeah. Yeah, Um. I mean, he's, he makes the throw. Good on him. Kind of a wild throw. I'm a little upset. All right, start of the half. We threw a pick to end the half on a, like a Hail Mary, so it's fine. I'm not even going to show that. 28-28, though. He's now in the driver's seat, actually, right? He has a chance to go take the lead right here. So, I mean, good on him for battling back. Jared Cook underneath. Able to actually make me miss. Get a tackle anyways. Good, good flow to the ball carrier from the defense right there. But he did make one of my guys miss. He does work in the open field. Especially the second half, you'll see some work done in the open field to my users. Uh, and to my just overall defense. Motion out, Robbie Anderson's now out here. I'm expecting verticals, not verticals. Has Z-spot. Trying to get underneath. Oh, man. Watch my user right here. I try to take the steep angle underneath to undercut the ball. Not able to quite get there. Right, you see me go down. Not, mm. Frustrated. I want that pick right there. I want to be able to get there with my user. I just can't. Just a step behind. He's now 18 for 21 for 299. And he's got all oh, we'll back over to this bunch Y flex. The route combo here, I'm expecting he's a crosser. A little seam wheel and an out route, and that's exactly what we have. We actually do a good job bagging it. He had the out route, but missed the read. And look, chat, right? Look at this, look at this. He goes for the route. He's look, he rolls out, expecting this route bounce up. I see this with my user. So look, I'm going over there defending the out route. He throws this. Actually, that's probably a consistent throw for him. He doesn't get it, but he's past the line of scrimmage anyways. Second and 14. Good defense right there. But that's me using what I saw earlier from the play with that out route, with that out route bounce up. And I go, okay. I'm not going to let him have an opportunity to throw that. Second and 14 now. Good chance for me to get off the field. He's all the way over to the bunch wide flex again, which, again, I'm expecting this uh, wheel out crosser. Different route combo this time. We recognize it fine, though. Checks it down. We're able to wrap up right there with Teddy Hendricks. Good stuff. I like that a lot for my boys. He's going turbo, though. Third and 11. Flip left to right. We have the defense set up correctly. I think this is probably going to be a, a four-man rush. It is. Got to get that edge pressure. And right here, guys. It's a great stick work by him. Good stick work by him. I mean, you see the journal at the end. Frustrating, though. Look. Third and 11. Right right here. We got to make this tackle right here. Diablo, I have to make this tackle to make it fourth and five and potentially win the game right here, right? Instead, we miss. He gets a truck. Then right here. Then right there, right? We have the opportunity to wrap up with five people to make it a fourth and one or just a first down barely, right? Right here, we can hit him. Ends up spitting everybody out, getting a huge gain. And now we're at first and 10 uh, right here on the 27 yard line, just huge. That's uh, the importance of rack, of both on offense getting rack and on defense preventing rack. It changes games, right? It changes games. Look, he has the post route. He's gonna throw the post. I didn't think this was open, man. This is a dot, but I didn't think this was open, right? Again, you see him going back to the same route. And again, my user, my user goes down to this mesh point. Right? You see the same route combo. You're going over top. I thought I thought Ed Reed would play it. But shame on me. Good touchdown. Robbie Anderson. End zone, end zone, end zone. Touchdown, touchdown, touchdown. We tried taking the kick out again. And we're on our own 11. So the kick, taking the kick out has not worked very well for us so far up to this point. You saw the flip of the bunch. You're going to see another flip right here. I'm curious what I go with. I don't think I tried. Yeah, okay. So we're trying to answer back actually with one play. Uh, because he has let this open consistently right here, right? Again, Vic rolling out. We're looking to get this with the Vic guy. We're launching it with the Vic guy. We're launching it. Randy Dandy. See, that time Cam doesn't play it. I think I just, I, I don't know why he played it for the pick to really, you know, get Astro back in this game. But uh, regardless, right, we're able to get right there. We're going to go PA boot over, just pushing the edge with Vickens. I have Y. We're going to launch Y. We drop Y. Was hoping for a better animation. We're 7 for 8 for 284, though. The two picks, remember, one was on the deep bomb, and then one was just on a Hail Mary to end the half, which is whatever. 
Day at 10. Uh, I think we're going to go with the little post. Yep, post, curl, flat, flat. Yep, love it. Love this route combo. We're going to roll out. Ha. Huh. And so check this out. Check this out. Check this out. This is actually pretty frustrating. All right, so on a big down like second and 10, right? Look at this post. He gets bumped, and he ends up running down. This post runs down. And I don't... It's a touchdown. This post is a touchdown right here, right? Look, his user falls back. This post should be going to this back corner. X should be. Instead, he runs down. And, like... It's like, okay. I tried throwing it anyways, like, just to see if I can get anything. That was frustrating. I was actually pretty mad about that. Just because, like, that's a... It's a touchdown. Regardless, so you can't really dwell on that type of thing in-game. Uh, or else, like, you really start playing out of your, like, out of your mind, which isn't what you want to do. Third and ten. Uh, again, he, so this dollar defense, guys, you see it a lot. I don't really think it's that good. I really don't think this dollar defense is very good at all, to be honest with you. We double team here. This post right here is going to turn around, actually. Um, and he, oh, he doesn't, actually. Okay. He is not. Typically, he would. We're going to push it with Vic. Heavy Vic is such a huge advantage. You saw I double team this guy right here. Uh, we don't get a double team, but we break contain, and then we get the double team, push him down. We're going to push it with Vic. Push, push, push. Play Vicker up. Make him have to choose with the user. He misses me anyways. Nice run by Vic. Able to pick up the first down. Keep the drive alive. Keep the chains moving. Josh Allen can't do that. Dan Marino can't do that. Whatever quarterback is out right now cannot do that. Except, I mean, there's a few, but Michael Vick's best. Mikhail Vickens. Look, first and 10. Boot over. We're going to push, 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 push. He has a spy in the field. We're going to push right here. Good. RPO. I basically, look at that. I think this is an RPO right there. I know the run option is available. We get a cool eight yards. It's a, I mean, it's a pass play. We have that run option with our quarterback. I'm more than willing to hammer that down. Hammer it down. All right, second and two. Flipping. I'm guessing this is going to be inside zone, I believe, right? He's looking for the gap shoot. I don't think he's going to be able to get it. Good block. We end up not picking up the first down here, and it's going to be a third and one. We have three rushers at 81 yards. Mind you, 75 of them, 74 of them were from that first inside zone. We're going to be all the way down. Check this out. Right here, I'm uh, I'm putting in Darren Waller into my bunch tight end. That's going to give me an extra tight end out there and give me a new set of audibles. We're then going to audible down to pistol wing flex close to our speed option that you saw me run earlier. I love this for short yardage. And I believe we're going to immediately take this up the middle with Michael Vick. Let's see what I end up doing. Um, we're going to snap this bad boy. And yeah, Michael Vick going up the middle. We don't get it, though. Usually, that's a pretty gimme of a play. We don't get it right there, which is scary. Fourth and one now. We're actually going to come out and bunch tight end again. And now I need to make, like, this is a big down. He's up seven. Fourth and one. If we don't, at three, I don't want three. I can't stop my offense. Right, boot over. We're going to roll out. We're going to push it with Vic. Push, 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 push. Able to barely squeak in there and get out of bounds at the one yard line. So I could have slid right there too. No reason to push for the end zone right at the one yard line. I realistically can't stop me. Watch right here. Vic is tired right here. I'm actually subbing him out. Because Vic is exhausted. I want him to have as many plays off until our next drive as possible. I don't need him in on these plays. I'm just going to run the ball right up the middle with Marshawn Lynch. Uh, it should be a pretty gimme touchdown. We don't need Vic for anything, um, obviously. So we're going to see what happens. Marshawn Lynch, Seahawks fan, take notes. Derek Carr hands it off. Marshawn up the middle. No good. Okay. That, okay. Well, Seahawks fans just know that, I mean, that probably isn't realistic, okay? Again, Marshawn, we're going to hammer it down. Hammer it down, Marshawn! You see, Seahawks fans, even if you didn't get it the first time, you had more downs. Good job giving Tom another one. I know the Mickey Mouse. Just kidding. Tom Brady's a goat. First and 10. Astro. Audible's out. Robbie Anderson. We send a five man. Look at the edge heat. Gonna be trying to come. Doesn't get it at all. Good read over the middle. I don't, I mean, that's just a good read by him. Look at the rack, though. Look at the rack, though. Look at the rack on this. Oh, my God. Look at the rack on this dude. Boom, a little boom, makes three people miss. Everyone misses. A journal. Ah, oh, you can't do that. And I preach that all the time, man. Literally, what I, the most real football concept about my defense is we freaking wrap up. All right. And we just not doing that. First of 10, all the way to the, to the bunch wide flex, the money play. Give me a little wheel out. Yup, yup, yup. Throws it. I'm really happy. We take out the end zone again. At this point, I should have learned. Look, first and 10 for my own 13. I guess I never realized it mid-game until watching it back right now that I got no kick return yards. Look, we're going for the nuke. We're going to go. We have it. We have it. We have it. Bang! No. Check this out, chat. Check this out, boys. This isn't Cam Chancellor playing it. This is not the same as what happened earlier. This right here, look. Look what under pressure, out of range. Michael Vick was tired from the drive before, 
and he was still tired right here, resulting in that throw being way underthrown. Because look, I have, I have this nuke right here, and Vic doesn't make the throw. So of this bomb, I've probably thrown a pick on this bomb less than you know one percent of the time I run it. This game, I threw two, and you can't do that, right? I need to be, uh, I need to be not so bomb heavy, but not really upset. Like I didn't really make bad reads on the bomb. Like look, B is gonna be open above. Just look at the throw. The throw, look at where Moss has to come all the way back for it. It's just underthrown. Which is, uh, you can't have that happen, right? You can't have that happen. It's on me. Um, it is what it is. Uh, I will say, everyone's saying like, Oh, Bunton dead, Civil. Civil, Bunton is dead right now. Civil, 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 Civil. Because no delay fades. It's not dead, right? Like, cr critically think about this game. It's not dead by any means. This The bomb only got better. The runs got better. Lauer passing plays only got better. I feel great in Bunchton. It just sucks that we had two bombs. That One that was just... I mean, another laser beam dot. Look, look at this. I mean, look at his click on Swerve. This is, again, a very... This is honestly an underratedly advanced thing from him. Look at this. Boom. A little Swerve inside to get a better rack animation. Reed can't get there. Boom. Touchdown. But this kid's awesome on offense, dude. But I feel like Bunchton right now... I feel as good as I've ever felt in bunch of It's just a matter of this game right here. We're not matching point for point because we had two bombs. get. We had one that got just wildly played is what it is. And then that was underthrown, which if you guys watch, my, I mean, happens one out of every hundred. So regardless, I mean, down 14, I've gotten 49 points put on my head at this point. Mind you, I'm running the same defense that I held people to like Decroft and J-Wall to under 15, right? And this kid, we, we just got 49 put on us. Which is wild. I'm not really upset. Like this, he was really good. Have RB end up throwing a super blind read. Um, he fumbled. I don't know what just happened right there. Whatever. There's a really dumb read by me right there. End up somehow not paying the price for it. Stay alive. Um, just really stupid. I mean, that's me forced. Just literally forcing something out of anger and just out of desperation, right? Whereas in reality. We're in a good spot in this game. All sides, we're able to throw whatever, right? We have a free play. Really though, and like, this is still a ball game for us. We're down 14, three timeouts, we have ball, right? Touchdown to get a stop. I'm kind of, and that's why I need to be mindset wise. I don't really adapt that mindset very well. Um, here, I'm really just trying to get it all back. Whereas we have a lot of time to be able to score. We're pushing it, boot over. We're gonna run with Michael Vick, get a couple yards. It's fine, we got four right there on the run. So I'm not happy with that, right? Second to two now. Vickens at the helm. Darren Waller's still in my game. He should not be in the game. Remember, he was in the game earlier. And I wonder if he had something to do with the ball being played. I'm not sure. But regardless, looking for Y. We don't have Y. We're going to throw A. So this pick right here basically steals the game. But I'm going to tell you exactly what I was thinking. It's not that bad of a read. Look, see how far underneath this hook curl is? This is a high ball opportunity behind it if this guy's short. I'm trying to think, who is this who picks it? Horn. I don't know how tall JC Horn is, actually. But... This high ball under, over top of it isn't the worst thing ever. You've seen me do this in videos in the past. Uh, that's what I thought I could do right here. Shouldn't have forced on second and two, right? It is a risky throw. And Horn just gets a good play on the ball. I think Horn's like 6'2", I want to say. Regardless, that basically seals it, boys. Uh, shout out to Astro. He's really, really good. Play. Like, his offense. This is the best offense I've, I've seen, actually, guys. Usually, if you hit the subscribe button, check out some of my other breakdown, my other videos. I appreciate y'all. Love y'all. See y'all later.